In this screencast, I'd like to do a different kind of example problem um, on vector differentiation. I'd like to, it's still a particle path, but I wanted to have a, an example that wasn't circular motion and for which the speed is not constant. Again, it's two dimensional. You're given up this parameterization. I left off the details of uh, what you're asked to do, but uh, the, same, the same situation. Given this parameterization for a particle path, uh, you want to compute uh, the various quantities and, and make a graph. So let's just start with, with plotting the, the, the path itself. Hopefully you're, you're familiar with this. What you want to do is realize here that x is the same as t, and so there, therefore y is equal to sine t, uh, which will therefore be equal to sine of x. So the graph of this is simply y is equal to sine x, and I've done that down here. So, um, so here we go, x and y. And this then is the uh, the path of the particle. Again, I don't routinely say, but you just always understood that unless I say otherwise, t goes from minus infinity to plus infinity. So this curve goes goes off to infinity in both directions. Let's do it. Let's compute uh, velocity, speed, etc. Uh, velocity, and I'm going to go ahead and do the differentiation for you. Even though it's very easy. So differentiate, we get one derivative sine is cosine. So what could be easier? And we want to plot those, but it's helpful to also have the speed, the magnitude of this. In this case, it will be just simply 1 plus cosine squared t to the 1 half. So let's plus some velocity vectors. Again, we know that the, uh, the velocity vectors will, at, at any point here, let me kind of uh, illustrate this. So if I pick a point on here, Let's just pick some random point here. I know that the velocity vector, whatever it is, will be tangent to the curve, something in, like in this direction in there. Or if I'm over here, it'll be something like uh, in this direction. I can gather the directions of the vectors well enough, but let's be a little bit more quantitative. And I'm, for that, I'm going to make a table here. Let's uh, a little table here. T and V, the components, both components of V. So when t is 0, v is uh, 1, 1. When t is, the uh, next in interesting thing is pi on 2, we have 1, 0. I'll do one full period worth. When t, uh, t is pi, we have 1 minus 1. OK, and when t is 3 pi on 2, we have, um, again, 1, 0. All right, so let's plot these vectors. Here we are at uh, uh, 0. We have this vector 1, 1. So we're going to go one unit over, one unit up, and that'll be my vector. And it is tangent to the curve, and that's the v, the velocity vector at that point. Okay, And you'll notice that, um, let's go ahead and put it in my table, that c here is square root of 2. So that vector has length square root of 2. This one, okay, it's horizontal. The x component is the x component is one. The y component is zero. It's horizontal, as you could gather from this. It's now shorter than the previous vector. Uh, what's its magnitude? Its magnitude is simply one. Let's just continue on. The, here, the magnitude will again be square root of two. Here, it will again be one. And let's just plot these vectors. Uh, now the y component is minus 1, so it's, it's downwards. The x component remains plus 1. Not, perhaps not emphasizing enough that the speed, and you get the point that the speed is now varying. This vector that I'm now drawing is longer than this there vector. Okay? Well, that's what they do up and down, up and down. So again, the, the general the general shape of this you could have simply gotten because the velocity vectors are tangent to the curve, but to be a little bit more quantitative, you now have the the actual lengths of these vectors, which are given here. Okay, let's just continue and do the acceleration. I'm not sure there's a whole lot to say here. The acceleration again is the derivative of this, which is zero um, minus sine t. Yeah, okay, we'll actually just move this just above here to include acceleration, again, as a vector. Well, it's always going to be 0. And then here we're going to have minus, uh, 0, 0. 
can see 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, plus 1. And so those vectors look like, I've been drawing them in orange, I'll continue. Here the acceleration is 0. Here at the top, the acceleration is downwards, has length 1, which actually is the height of this, so I'll draw it that way. Here the acceleration is 0. Here the acceleration is upwards, again with length 1, etc. And those are acceleration vectors. And I'm not sure that there's really anything much more to say about this, but I just I wanted to do at least one problem where uh, where we had some non-circular motion, and uh, again to emphasize a few points and get you uh, uh, drawing these kinds of vectors and making these kinds of plots. Okay, I'll do one final example uh, in the next screencast.